Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IS. My name is Pooja Devi. Today we are going to discuss delimitation. Commission has kicked off the process for delimiting constituencies in Assam. Now this topic is very heated because NRC has not been completed and as various governments plus the center said that first we are going to be done with national register of citizens in Assam then only we will do the other process of delimitation but now let's see what happens so i am here to apprise you of the very basic facts concepts with respect to this particular news so without any further ado these are the many topics that we are going to discuss step by step okay from the perspective of vs mains paper second it is important first of all let us see the backdrop or the background election commission this new year has kicked off the process of delimitation of assembly and parliamentary constituencies in assam currently there are about 14 parliamentary constituencies in assam and 126 legislative assembly constituencies okay and this announcement was actually made on december 27 2022 when the election commission said that the center has given it the directions to redraw constituency boundaries in assam and now the process of data collection through the office of the assam chief electoral office has also started the election commission has said it will formulate its own guidelines for the process okay so it will not be a superimposed process but original process of pc and no time frame has been announced as of yet till when it and from when it is going to begin okay so what is delimitation basically delimitation is a process or an act of redrawing boundaries of lok sabha and state assembly seats so that it can represent changes in population that means earlier it could be that a can a region had this much x population and similarly to represent that x population y number of candidates were elected but now the population increased what happens more representatives will be needed so in order to adjust this gap the limitation is done this will give equal representation to equal segments of the population for example in 1971 assam's population was 1.46 crore in 2001 it has increased to 2.66 crore so this gap so that people do not rep- uh, remain underrepresented or not represented at all this delimitation act will be done delimitation commission is the one which is charged with continuing or implementing this process it is appointed by the government of india the commission is appointed by the government of india and this all is done under the different acts of delimitation commission only the acts can be of different years but we can call it delimitation act only delimitation commission act it could be of 2002 2000 i'm just giving you hypothetically the example i will tell you when delimitation commissions under various acts were uh, you know provided for so it could be 2002 2003 2004 now the delimitation commission is appointed by the president of india in the sense the government tells the president to go on with it but if it is given in your examination two options are given government of india and president so you will go with the president okay the lead delimitation commission works in collaboration with the election commission of india always remember that in this process so the commission is supposed to determine the number and boundaries of constituencies in a way that the population if possible to the maximum extent if there is a possibility the seats are the same it is also tasked with identifying seats reserved for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes all right moving ahead if we have to talk about the composition it com- it is comprised of a retired supreme court judge the chief election commissioner of india and respective state election commissioners whenever state leg- legislative assemblies are concerned so the constitution mandates the commission's orders are final it is a very you know powerful body delimitation commission the orders are final and they cannot be questioned before any court and as it would hold the hold up the in election indefinitely here the constitution says that if we are going to challenge such a powerful body's decision every now and then what will happen election will never be conducted because of course it will be so open ended it will be so you know frequent in a country in a democracy like india that elections will be held up indefinitely now according to article 82 the parliament is the one which is responsible to enact the delimitation act after every census 
every uh, census is conducted in every 10 years right on once the act is in force the union government sets up the delimitation commission the draft proposal for of the delimitation commissions are published in the public for public feedback so public is also included stakeholders are there so once this is done the delimitation commission will hold public sittings if there are any objections or suggestions then that would be considered it will be put on a draft and then the final order is published in the gazette of india and also the gazette of the state okay so now the next question arises that why is delimitation being conducted in assam alone right now first we have to understand that the constitution has said that the boundaries of the assembly constituency should be updated after every 10 years but there were two amendments first was in 1976 and 2001 the other one so these two amendments each time put off the census put off this exercise for um, you know after it basically we can say it suspended the process for 25 years every time first one was in 1976 second one was in 2001 now delimitation has been conducted under delimitation commission acts of years in this particular years 1952 1962 1972 and 2002 now it has been further kept in abeyance till 2026 and the government has decided back then uh, in 2008 back then to leave out assam arunachal pradesh manipur and nagaland as well as jammu and kashmir okay so it's just not assam but other states were also there but for assam the government cited security reasons that the security was uh, back then over there not very helpful in you know conducting delimitation activities so the potential for disturbing law and order among others were also the problems in 2020 delimitation commission uh, said that it is going to conduct exercise for jammu and kashmir assam arunachal pradesh manipur and nagaland now in march 2021 the government omitted four northeastern states where it extended the tenure of the commission so jammu and kashmir was there the commission the delimitation commission conducted the exercise for jammu and kashmir this commission was headed by justice ranjan ranjana desai and jammu and kashmir got its final award in may 2022 regarding the delimitation exercise okay so why is ec and not an independent delimitation commission is doing so our for arunachal pradesh assam manipur and nagaland ec is going to conduct this exercise for section 8a of the representation of people act of 1950 and if the president is satisfied that the situation and the conditions which are prevailing over there are in favor of conducting such exercises then it may rescind the deferment order that means it can say the president can say that let's uh, you know uh, rescind the deferment order uh, that we earlier had we cannot now say that uh, here the exercise would not be uh, very productive so what happens if the president is of such opinion that now the situation is okay in assam although the government back then said that no we cannot conduct the exercise for the next 10 years the president can have a say so remember that so february 28 2020 uh, there was an order saying that there had been a significant improvement in the security situation of assam and for that reason it would be there now article 170 says that the population numbers to be used for drawing boundaries of the constituency would be as per 2001 census and that is why we can say the 2001 census for the limitation activity is going to be conducted for assam now until the fund, uh, it would be there until the first census after 2026 is published that is pretty delayed right now so in the case of jammu and kashmir the jammu kashmir reorganization act of 2019 took into account the population of 2011 census as the basis of the limitation so that proper uh, you know representation can be done also if we have to talk about the 2001 census it is going to be used for the assam one and that is concerning for the opposition opposition is saying that why is there a use of 2001 census people would remain unrepresented why not use 2011 census but this is a mystery right now national register of citizen has also not been finalized as of yet because many governments said even the ruling government said earlier that we are going to first finalize nrc to root out the illegal immigrants from bangladesh then only we will conduct delimitation exercise but there are, there is also one other concern apart from these two 
that a day before the election commission um, you know whenever such decisions are there a day before the election commission's freeze on new administrative unit from Jan january 1st came into effect what happened that the cm it merged two districts in order to make it one other unit so that is also questionable when there was a freeze why did you do that so what happened that the assam cabinet approved the merger of four districts not two beg your pardon into the district they were carved out of and this was done as of january last year january 2022 this i'm talking about the last year so many um, you know opposition are saying that one of the many reasons or the major reason is that this mixing up of the four district merging of the four districts is going to favor the current bjp ruling party and that is why it was done so why do that so this is also one of the concerns now if we have to talk about nrc nrc is basically a register national register of citizen it is prepared after the conduct of the census of 1951 in respect of each village showing the house or holdings in serial order and also indicated against each house or holding the number and names of the persons who are staying therein all right then if we have to talk about the state only assam has such a register and the exercise may be extended to other states as well such as nagaland also this sets out to identify foreign nationals that crossed border after the liberation war of 1971 to assam and other regions the center has been pushing for NRC in every state. Okay, so I hope you understood the segment. Let me take the names of those who have answered the last question correctly with respect to in depth. Okay, so A was the correct answer. Saurav, Fardeen, Keshika, Sagarika, N. Vaishnavi, Shantipriya, Shivam, Rahul, Navneet, Suchita, Unstoppable, Akansha, uh, Swarnaprava, Barun, Puneet, Puja Sharma. Ujwal and Priyanka have answered it correctly. Suman, uh, Suman, thank you so much. Then Pallavi, Anita, Anuj, Tushita, Mukesh, Ashish, Bhargavi, Srinivas and Anushri have also answered it correctly. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and stay updated. Mm -hmm.